assalamu alaikum today uh, the topic on which i will uh, make a video on is uh, it is a question of digital logic design assignment and the question states uh, that design the control circuit for a vending machine with the following specifications simulate in proteus and make video as well the and uh, the following specifications are given that the vending machine accepts only nickels and dimes when the machine has received 15 cents it delivers a package of candy if too much money has been added the machine returns the difference when the candy has been released the release mechanism brings the circuit back to the original starting state now if we look at this question right here so if we look at the block diagram that this this is a coin sensor which gives the inputs n and d n is for nickel d is for dimes and furtherly a vending vending uh, for for, a, for our vending machine a vending sequential circuit is made through logic combinations and then furtherly it gives output of y in which uh, there are two outputs that uh, if first it release only candy mechanism and the second is return change mechanism as we can see our inputs are n d outputs are y and z only one input n or d will be working at one time uh, so they will not work uh, together that is that when both of the inputs are 1 1 or 0 0 they will not work uh, they and uh, they will on, uh, only work if uh, one of the inputs is high or low n and d is asserted for every clock cycle when a coin has been asserted pennies won't be accepted and there are two uh, states uh, in which first uh, we will see that when z is equal to 0 and when z is equal to 1 when z is equal to 0 there will be no change and when z is equal to 1 change retained 5 cents this is our state diagram for uh, Moore machine as we can see here the, this is our convention state these are our nd inputs and y z is our output so this is our Moore machine here we can see these are our four conventional states and furtherly our outputs and uh, our inputs given first we have given n then d and then uh, a, a change is given and n is similarly given then uh, it is giving the input of d there are basically f five you can say uh, conventional states here and in melee diagram there are only three conventional states and this is our melee diagram it requires only three states and this is our state table in which we have present state up to uh, we have uh, uh, almost 12 states and when we we give it the our inputs d and n some possible values so this uh, we have then made uh, from the Moore and Mealy machine the state diagram our state table and similarly then we have uh, calculated our outputs and we have encoded our uh, conventional states and then again we have made another table and then for solving the equation we have made a K map for d a d b z our output and y these are all uh, our equations now we shall continue towards our simulation on proteus as we can see here d and n here are our two inputs this is our logic uh, logic combinational circuit for sequential design of vending machine this is for our change and this is for the candy which will be given to us now if we see that when one uh, when we uh, give input high to one of our uh, inputs that is for n if we give one then it gives us candy and 
as uh, follow, following our specifications when both of our inputs are one then they are giving us change and the candy and when so here we can see when it is reset the D is reset so it will gives us change and the candy and when both of our inputs are off then it will give us nothing and when only nickels are applied then it will give us candy and when only dimes are applied then it will give us uh, change and candy so that was all for today's video hope you liked it and got the information you seeked